Welcome, welcome back to my channel guys where we're about that breaking cycles life now for today's encouragement it's coming from the book of Isaiah and it's Isaiah chapter 23 verse 3 and I'll read it for you it says you will keep him in perfect peace <laughs> whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you amen now you heard me chuckle <laughs> during the during the reading of the verse right and uh, Basically, I won't necessarily give too much, too much details on my current situation, but I believe this scripture came to me today to remind me, it's God's reminder to me that the level of peace that I've been feeling regardless of my current situation, guys, he is reminding me that he will keep me in perfect peace and that's because I trust in him and I'm learning it's not 100% there. I'm just telling you the truth. It's not 100% there. I even cried last night. Just a bit. Just a small, just a tiny bit of crying. And then while I was editing a video, the same video was speaking to me. A video that I edited spoke to me to say, Shanique, why is it that you're worrying about the situation? God is going to make a way because... He, you are his child and he will not leave you, he will not forsake you and why are you worrying about tomorrow when you should be only focused on today and didn't God, didn't God tell you that he already orchestrated everything, he already planned everything, he knew that the situation that I'm currently in would be happening and this situation is like the cherry on top for cherry on top to many, many, many other situations that are occurring in my life at this present moment and uh, through all of this i am i can safely say that i am not fully disturbed i'm not as perplexed as i would usually be and that is god that's god's peace basically and it reminds me of the story of god of jesus while the the storms were sailing and he was in the boat sleeping and the disciples were like how are you sleeping in this storm? And he was like, why are you worried about the storm? Am I not here with you? Right? And it's a reminder to me today and in turn a reminder to you that, guys, trust me, even though it looks as if it won't, it won't work out or it looks as if there's no time, just no... That God will work things out for you and he will give you that perfect peace and how will we maintain that perfect peace is because we'll trust in him <sighs> yeah we trust in him and in trusting in him his peace will enter our hearts and it will abide there and we'll wonder why is it that we're not so disturbed by our current situation and that only comes after building a relationship with Christ, honestly. And that's why in most of my admonitions, I keep stressing the point that we need to build a relationship with Christ because it's in building that relationship with him that we come to this point that I can look at my current situation and just me to dire. <laughs> it's not life or death, but I believe it's dire. And I... And you can sit back and look at it and be like, okay, he has done it before. He'll do it again. He'll provide. He'll, he'll make a way out of no way. <laughs> and yeah, we, we should just remember that. So this is, the, this is the reminder to you guys today that he will keep you in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on him. So how do we keep our minds stayed on him read his word take up the bible read the promises believe the promises it's not only it's not only just to read guys it's to believe it to have faith in it to trust that whatever he says he will do 
he will do it and let me even give a little more perspective to my situation it was god <laughs> that called me into my current situation he is the one that brought me to this point and it would really be disappointing to know that you think god would bring you this far to just leave you right here when he was the one that told you to go on this path with him you think he would really you think he would really 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 and truly he's not that selfish a god he's not selfish at all he's not a selfish god to bring you to this point in your life and even though it looks as if all hope is lost because i'm telling you it looks as if all hope is lost right now but even though it looks like all hope is lost guys just be reminded that it's not and in us renewing our minds by feeding on god's word and feeding on his promises and believing that he will be with us he'll provide for us he will basically be our all in all we should we will have that perfect peace and that is stemming from the fact that we trust him so we should trust god to work things out for us and that's our admonition for today guys trust god to work things out for us and that perfect peace will come to us because we keep our minds stayed on him so have a great day guys and let's leave everything in god's hands bye